I've decided to make an air dam to direct the flow of air over top my solar panels. You can see the solar panels there, they'd be broadside to the wind so it might be undue stress. So what I did, I just went down to the junkyard, ripped the spoiler off the back of a, I think this one's off a of Saturn, and I'm just going to fart around with it here a bit, try and get an angle, and uh, the plan is I'm going to fiberglass it to the, to the roof. I've got where I'm going to put my supports. I've just marked them all off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rough this up down to fiberglass, and then I'm going to fiberglass these to the top of the trailer. Okay, I've cut up a bunch of fiberglass cloth. I've got the, the mesh cloth and then just the looser stuff. So what I'll do is I'll mix up some fiberglass resin. I'll start putting it around there and then just start applying it. Okay, so I've got the fiberglass set up. We'll just let this dry overnight and then do another coat tomorrow. This is the roughing in with the fiberglass. The excess I'll trim, but I'll put a couple more layers on here to make sure it's good and strong. I've applied a layer of Bondo and it's dried, so now I'm going to have to take a file on that and roughly shape it. At the front here, I've ground it down I've to fiberglass. I've got everything ground down. I've ground off the gel coat right down to fiberglass. So when I put the air deflector on, I'll be able to fiberglass this and I have some fiberglass to attach it to. Okay, this is roughly what it looks like right now. I'm going to fiberglass in, in behind here too, just to cover up the mess underneath. So this, I'll have something here come right down, and then something to grip onto here with this fiberglass. And then at the front, this is a rough. So roughly, this will come down like this. I'll fiberglass right down, and then right onto here. So we'll get the air shooting up like that. I've roughly got this set where I want it. I've ground down the roof here right to fiberglass. I'm just going to run a line. I'm just eyeballing it here. Uh, now the first step is I'm going to lay down some fiberglass, but I want it to come right back and cover here. So I'll have it like this. Coming out this, I'll leave this dry and then I'll fiberglass this in, let it sit, and when that's hardened, then I'll flip it over the air dam and uh, fiberglass it, keep working my way up and around. The line I drew, I'm just going to, I want to make sure all the fiberglass that I exposed, I have to at least seal it, so I'm going to put resin from here right up to that line, and I'm going to leave this part dry for now. That's done, now I'll just bring this back with this. saturating this back part here. Basically I want this one strip to grip and I can just fold this back over top. Okay, so I've lined this up, I've screwed it in. I'm just going to flip the fiberglass back over the top. Now I'll let this first layer dry and then I'll put another layer, attach it to this little space of fiberglass that I left and bring it right over and right down to the back. This will give you an idea of what the first layer looks like. So I've still left some fiberglass here for the next layer to grip onto. And it's indented a bit, so then once it sets, then I can just do a skim of Bondo over it and I should get a nice smooth line. I've gone and I've just extended the ends here. Save on both sides and I'll let them dry. And then I've put in on the posts here. I've just put these, I've tacked them top and bottom. I'll let that dry and then I'll coat these again and let that dry. And then I'll run a, that's about a four inch strip I guess, all the way across the back. So I took the grinder to this and just ground it all down as smooth as I can. Rubbed it up here again in the back, got rid of all that loose fiberglass. 
Now I'll just have to wait for this to dry. I hosed it down. So we'll wait for it to dry and then I'll put another layer of fiberglass on. Now I've also ground down. That's where one of my aluminum strips will go for the, that hold the solar panels on. I've ground it down to fiberglass as well, that patch back there. So I'm just going to patch the fiberglass to the roof just for that extra added security. I put the layers of fiberglass on here to the, my aluminum. I'll just let this one side set up before I before I work on that side there. If I put any pressure on the roof right now it bows in. So I'll let this stiffen up and I'll do that one tomorrow so when I'm on there it won't uh, it won't separate. So we'll let that dry. There's a shot of the back there right now. So I'll put it again I'll get some of that uh, nice fiberglass cloth. I'll bring it down, try and bring it down as flat as I can. All this here I'll just uh, touch up with Bondo in the end just to give it a little curve. I've got that one layer of fiberglass on. I've decided that this is pretty rough so we're going to smooth it out with Bondo first. And then we'll apply that last layer of cloth over the Bondo after I've sanded it down smooth as I can get it. Notice with this on here, my roof doesn't cave in anymore when I put pressure on it. That's good. Bring it over. What I'm doing at the back, I know you can't see it. I'll show you after. I'm just bringing this down as straight as I can. So now I'm just going to saturate this piece of cloth that's coming straight down at the back. Okay, we'll let that set up now. Now I'm going to work on my solar panel holders on the back here. What I've done for my extruded aluminum that holds my solar panel is I've taken them off. I've ground down this square patch right to fiberglass. I've got two layers of fiberglass on the bottom. Everything's soaked. And then fiberglass flipping around here to attach. And same thing coming up here to attach. And once that dries I can uh, smooth it out with Bondo and paint it. Here's the progress so far. I've put a double double skin of fiber cloth there. That's fairly stiff. It's got it's rolly a bit, but I'll just uh, fill it in with Bondo after. So it comes down and it's attached right to fiberglass here. I was gonna leave this end open here, but it's hard for me to get in there and sand it down and clean it up. So I'm attached some fiber cloth here. It's it's been allowed to set overnight. So then I'll just grind down a line just to follow the line here and attach that this morning. Same thing on the other side. And then the front, the front's had its a uh, couple layers of fiber cloth. Then I've got a layer of Bondo on there right now so I've got to sand that down. A couple layers of Bondo on. I have to sand this down one more time with 80 grit and then I'll take a 220 grit to it to smooth it out and give it a coat of primer and paint. And on the back here, I've just got it roughed in here on the back right now. Yeah, that'll give you a rough idea of what it looks like. Now, I just guessed on the angle here. It may not be exactly correct, but it'll do something. Hopefully, it won't go around and create a vortex and rip the panels off from behind. <laughs> There's the final product after it's been bondoed, smoothed out, primed and painted. It still is a little rough in spots, but I'm planning to spray paint the trailer probably next year. So then I'll just work on it then, just to get it a bit smoother. I'll give you an idea of the angle. There's the solar panels. You can see them behind there. I've had it on a few trips. Nothing's fallen off. Don't know if it's doing any good, but it's up there now. At least uh, you'll know my trailer now from the profile, for sure. And there's just from the back side. So there's the new wind deflector. There's the spacer I put for the fan. And there's the solar panels. There's the profile from the side. And there's the trailer from the front.